Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Crystal and this is Crystal Cleans. Today's video is going to be kind of like an ultimate clean with me except for we are disinfecting the entire house and sanitizing everything that we can. So here I am stripping down all the couch cushions and those are all going into the wash with some Lysol um, fabric sanitizer. I don't usually um, use soap when I wash these. I just kind of run them through the washing machine but because of the flu, I just kind of want to sanitize everything that I can. So that's what I'm doing here. So while those are in the wash, we're going to start a little tot school project with shapes. And I love this freezer paper. You can use it for so many things. And I love to tape it down on the table. And sometimes when I'm making dinner, I just have the kids sit there and kind of draw on it. And um, if you do decide to do that, make sure you put the matte side up because the shiny part, you can't color on it. So here I am just going to tape it down to the table and then I'm going to draw some shapes and then have Wyatt sort them out. And then because he loves trains, I just drew him a little train track so that he could use the little shapes like trains and um, put them in the right area. And now back to cleaning. I'm gonna take the rest of the cushions off the couch and just give it a good vacuum and then spray it down with Lysol. So I also wanted to clean the carpets in here and so what I did was I just gave it a quick vacuum, sprayed some Resolve all over the carpet and then I used a disposable um, mop, well a mop with a disposable pad on it so that I can kind of use that to work the Resolve into the carpet. And I wanted to use this for two reasons. One, because it's disposable and I could just throw it away. And two, because I knew that that was a brand new pad and it was clean, so I wouldn't be rubbing any kind of like leftover grime or bacteria into the carpet. Thank you. 
And now that all the couch cushions are cleaned and dried, I will start to put the couch back together. So now that the carpet is completely dried, I'm just going to run the vacuum back over it and just kind of pick up all of the dirt and grime that the Resolve has picked up. And this usually takes about two or three hours to dry. I love using this Resolve in here. It just feels clean, it smells clean, and the carpet feels really, really soft. So now moving into the kids' bathroom, the first thing I'm gonna do is take all the towels out and wash those. Then I'm going to spray the entire toilet down with a bleach cleaner. Because of how sick everyone was, this toilet really needs cleaned well. So instead of just using a bleach cleaner inside the bowl, I'm using a bleach cleaner all around. And then also in the bathtub, I'm going to fill the tub up with hot water, use two capfuls of bleach, soak their toys and their little toy basket, and also it, this is gonna help disinfect the bathtub as well. So to clean the toilet, I'm using paper towels so that I can just throw them away. And then also in the bathtub, I'm using a magic eraser that I've cut so that I can just use that and throw away as well. Anytime you're trying to sanitize your house, I think it's best to use disposable things because then you can just throw them away and you don't have to worry about cleaning them. So again, to mop the floors, I'm using hot water, a cap full of bleach, and then I add in a few drops of lemon um, essential oils just so that it doesn't smell like bleach. So the first thing I did in both the kids' rooms was I opened up the windows just to air everything out and then I stripped all their bedding off and then I went around and just wiped down all the surfaces with the Method Antibacterial Cleaner.
And then what I also did was I went around the whole house and I sprayed every door handle with Lysol. And because by this time it was getting close to bedtime, I didn't make Charlotte's bed. I just turned it down and laid out her jammies for her. This thing was such a pain to get back on. I forgot how I had it on before, but I eventually figured it out. And I don't know why I lost the rest of the footage for this, but I eventually did get it back on. Thank you everyone for watching. If you're new to this channel, please remember to hit that subscribe button. I hope you don't need to disinfect your house the way I did, but if you do, I hope you got some motivation from this and thank you so much. I will see you next time.